The most famous reindeer of all Charles. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Had a very shiny nose Hello and what is up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Meredith. Welcome. If you cannot tell by the title of today's video, it is another day of Vlogmas. I am doing the Christmas tag. So I'll be answering some questions related to Christmas. And yeah, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. And let's get right on into the questions. The first question that I'll be answering is, what was your most memorable Christmas experience? memory i would say the first thing that comes to my mind is so every year my brother and i he would he would usually wake me up which is funny because he's a really deep sleeper but we would always wake up at 5 a.m we would get our stockings bring them up to our room and usually go to my room and go through our stockings and everything and then about a couple hours later like 8 30 we would do presents after breakfast but i don't know if anyone else does this let me know in the comments so we had this little pickle ornament it just looked like a pickle of like a big full like dill pickle and we would always one of our parents would usually hide it in the christmas tree and on christmas morning we would have to have kind of like a race me and my brother and we would have to try and find it like wherever our parents hid it in the Christmas tree, kind of deep in the Christmas in the tree. And whoever found it was supposedly get a year of good luck. And I feel like I would find it most of the time, but yeah. So we stopped doing that a couple years ago. That is probably one of my favorite Christmas memories. So the next one is on Christmas Eve, what would you leave out for Santa? So when I was younger, we would usually leave milk, which my dad would obviously end up drinking. And, uh, usually either oreos or those cookies that you can get at like the grocery store that you literally put in you just put it in the oven and they're done that usually have like the little sugar cookie designs on them i don't know what they're called but we usually put those out and just like milk yeah i feel like nothing's too like different from what everyone else does i guess as a kid Ooh, what is my favorite christmas song so it's probably i was thinking about this the other day probably either rocking around the christmas tree or it was michael buble oh we wish you a merry christmas i think there's a song by michael buble i think that's what it is Ooh, do you like eggnog no it is a no for me it just has a weird flavor the fact that it's like egg and i don't know i no. my boyfriend likes it think my brother likes it but it's a no for me have you ever built a gingerbread house? Um, I have a couple times when I was younger. I also want to do one. I want to make one for Vlogmas probably next week. I think that'd be really fun to do that. I also saw on TikTok the other day of this family. They have like a gingerbread making contest and they go like all out like really cool. And it made me very jealous and want to do it. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, I haven't made a gingerbread house in a while. Try to name all of Santa's reindeer. Dear. Okay. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and then Rudolph. Ooh, okay. What is your all-time favorite Christmas food? It's technically a dessert, but my mom has made it since she was a kid. It's like a family recipe, and it might sound weird, but it's so good. So it's ice cream pie and it's homemade you do ice cream you make it like a pie so instead of pie crust my mom uses uh cornflakes with caramel syrup coconut and brown sugar it is so good let me know if you want me to make a video of me making that because it's diabetes but it tastes amazing is your christmas tree real or fake so as a kid i've always gotten a real tree but the past couple years we did a fake tree just because that's like how it worked out. And I feel like it's so much easier to do a fake tree just because like real trees, you know, they're so messy to like clean up and a lot more work. But this year we do have a real tree mainly because my brother like insisted on getting a real tree. Yeah, we've mostly done real trees. All right, the next question is who cooks the Christmas meal? So usually my mom, if you've seen any of my other cooking videos definitely not me or my boyfriend would do it he's way better cook than i am my mom or my boyfriend okay this is an interesting one so do you prefer giving or getting gifts on christmas so this year especially since i'm an adult you know i don't really need much 
or what I do need I've already gotten for myself and I really like giving gifts. I think like if you've watched my stocking stuff for idea gift video, which is should be out by now, I mentioned how I really like to do personalized gifts and like thoughtful gifts. When I give to people, it's kind of like my love language is giving gifts and I really like giving gifts, you know? And so obviously I don't mind getting things, but I really like giving gifts. What would be your dream place to spend Christmas? honestly somewhere warm when i was a kid i went to disney twice for my birthday which is a couple weeks before christmas which was really nice but probably hawaii or florida to be honest that'd be really nice are you a last minute shopper or are you organized definitely last minute i feel like especially this year i very last minute i think i finished christmas shopping a couple days ago actually granted i have a small family so i don't have too many people to get stuff for but yeah, I'm definitely part of the procrastination club, so. Ooh, which Christmas candles are your favorite? If you do not know, I am obsessed with candles and I have probably about five just in my room that I kind of alternate through right now. But my favorite ones, I love going to Bath and Body Works. They have like amazing scents. I love the Marshmallow Fireside one. I love anything s'mores. So like, it just reminds me of like s'mores. I love it. The smell of pine, like pine trees. I love that. I don't know what the name of that at Bath and Body Works, but just like the smell of like a pine tree or Christmas tree. Really yummy. Yummy? I don't know. It smells good. What's your favorite Christmas movie? So I feel like everyone's is either like Elf or like The Grinch. Mine is definitely Elf. I love Will Ferrell, love Will Ferrell, and Jim Carrey, but I definitely love Elf. Grinch is a close number two, very close. I just love how it's like funny, I don't know. Ooh, what thing do you use at the top of your tree? So most people do like a star or an angel. At my house, I've always done an angel, but funny story. So at my boyfriend's house, they usually do a fake tree. And a couple years ago, I would say like two years ago, they didn't have a star or an angel, but this is kind of funny. They had a little forky from Toy Story, like keychain kind of thing. You like figure thing about this big. And they were just like, they thought it'd be funny to put that on top of their tree. So for the past couple years, my boyfriend and his parents have a little forky on top of their tree, which I thought is Funny. Okay, I will probably answer like two more questions. Which is your favorite cuisine at Christmas? So usually we just do like a light dinner kind of like on Thanksgiving, like an early Thanksgiving or an early meal. But this year we're doing at my boyfriend's house in my house, we're doing like a bunch of different little appetizers. So I love just like, we're doing potato skins, I'm making my buffalo chicken dip. We're doing mini hot dogs and like a bunch of different appetizers. My mom's making bacon wrapped pineapple, which should be interesting. But yeah, doing a lot, I don't know. I love food, so I'll eat it all. The last question that I'll be answering today is, what is the message Christmas does bring to you? So I feel like a lot nowadays, I hate how Christmas is just centered around like presents and getting things. I do not like that. I feel like it's just about, you know, being with the people that you have and just, you know, celebrating each other. And granted, I do still give it and get gifts, but I feel like people need to appreciate more than just gifts and materialistic things. Yeah, which is why I'm not really doing much for Christmas gifts anyway this year. That is gonna be it for me today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video, got to know me a little more. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and happy holidays and stay tuned for a couple more Vlogmas videos next week. But yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.